space exploration, where some of the most thrilling moments unfold, not in the sky, but right before takeoff. Today, SpaceX almost made history with Starship's Flight 8, but at the very last moment, it was all halted. T minus 40 seconds, and the launch was called off. Standing on the brink of a new milestone, the decision wasn't due to fog or coastal winds, as many at first thought. It was a result of a technical issue that couldn't be ignored. Elon Musk himself shared the news, revealing the problem. Too many question marks about this flight, he said. The issue? Ground spin start pressure was 20 bar lower than necessary. That pressure is what kickstarts the rocket's turbo pumps, fueling the engines that make this massive rocket take off. Musk explained that it was better to pause inspect both stages, and come back stronger in a day or two. But what does this pressure issue mean? Simply put, it's a critical factor that ensures the engines get the fuel and oxidizer they need to ignite. Being 20 bar below the required pressure could point to a potential malfunction or leak in system that preps the rocket before ignition. After the explosion of Ship 33 in the previous test flight, SpaceX couldn't afford to take risks. They've made the cautious call and that's something to respect when you're pushing the frontiers of space travel. As engineers dive into troubleshooting, the window for a launch attempt on Tuesday is uncertain, with Wednesday now looking like the more likely date. We'll be watching closely, tracking each update as SpaceX prepares to make another run at this. As the fog rolled in over Boca Chica Beach, Starship stood poised, bathed in early morning light. After the partial success of Flight 7, where Starship reached space only to explode upon re-entry. Today was meant to be another leap toward the stars. The countdown ticked on and viewers from around the world held their breath, waiting for what could have been a historic moment. The last 10 minutes? Everything was going smoothly. Engineers were on high alert, monitoring the rocket systems. Propellant levels, pressures, temperatures, everything was in the green. The frost on Starship's exterior a striking visual from the cryogenic fuel flowing through its veins created an almost magical image against the foggy Texas coastline. At T minus five minutes, the automated sequence began. Valves adjusted, systems checked, and the flight termination system was armed, just in case. Despite the fog and coastal winds, the weather stayed well within limits. But in the end, it wasn't the weather that stopped them. It was a technical glitch one that SpaceX wasn't willing to overlook. Now, the team is back at it, recalibrating, rechecking, and readying for the next shot. The countdown isn't over yet. The stars are still within reach. The primary concerns today weren't about the environment. They were hidden deep within the intricate machinery that powers SpaceX's ambitious Starship program, specifically the 33 Raptor engines that were set to roar to life. At T-3 minutes, the launch director gave the final go for launch. Systems across the board were reporting nominal status, and everything appeared to be on track. But behind the calm exterior, something wasn't quite right. Engineers had already flagged concerning readings in the ground spin start pressure system, the critical mechanism responsible for kicking off the engine startup sequence. Then at T minus 40 seconds, tension and mission control soared. A hold was suddenly called, freezing the countdown clock. Flight controllers scrambled to analyze real-time telemetry data streaming from the rocket systems. The issue? The pressure was reading 20 bar below expected parameters, an alarming deviation that could jeopardize the entire engine ignition process. For a brief moment, hope flickered. The hole was lifted, and engineers dove into troubleshooting, hoping to resolve the issue in real time. But mere moments later, the inevitable announcement came. We are scrubbing today's launch attempt. The disappointment was heavy, not just for the SpaceX team, but for the entire space community. Yet, there was an unspoken understanding. This is rocket science. After all, the margins between success and failure are razor thin, measured in fractions of a second. The smallest deviation can have catastrophic consequences. Elon Musk quickly took to social media to offer a concise explanation too many question marks about this flight. And then we were 20 bar low on ground spin start pressure. Best of Deke, inspect both stages and try again in a day or two. In those two sentences, Musk summed up the complexity of the engineering challenge and the methodical approach SpaceX takes toward development. Too many question marks. 
signals there were more uncertainties than just a pressure issue. In the world of rocket launches, even a single question mark is reason enough to stop the countdown. The 20 bar low pressure reading, about 290 PSI below the required level, was a serious concern. It's not just a small error. This pressure is what kickstarts the turbo pumps in the Raptor engines. If those pumps don't start properly, the entire ignition process could fail. It's like trying to start your car without a working starter motor. No ignition, no launch. This pressure issue could have led to uneven engine startups across all 33 Raptors, or worse, combustion instability. After seeing Ship 33's dramatic explosion during the previous test flight, SpaceX's cautious approach is understandable. Every component needs to function perfectly. Every reading must align, and safety must always come first. Perhaps the most telling move was Musk's decision to deep the vehicle, physically separating the Starship upper stage from the super heavy booster for a more detailed inspection. This isn't a quick fix. It requires precision coordination and the use of the massive mechanical arms of the launch tower, nicknamed Chopsticks, to lift Starship off the booster and onto a separate stand. This procedure can take hours, and the fact that SpaceX is willing to undertake it shows a suspect the pressure anomaly could be related to physical issues requiring hands-on inspection, not just a sensor error or software glitch. Musk's mention of inspecting both stages suggests that the concern could go beyond the ground systems and into the vehicle itself. While a timeline of just a day or two may seem optimistic, SpaceX has a history of improving these processes. What once took weeks now often takes only days, thanks to their rapid iteration approach. Stay tuned as we continue to track the latest updates from Starbase. Will Flight 8 be the breakthrough that moves us closer to an interplanetary future? Only time will tell. But one thing is clear. Each step, each test, and each bold attempt brings us closer to a future where humanity becomes a true multiplanetary species. Thanks for joining us for this breaking coverage. This is the Inside Angle, bringing you closer to the stars one launch at a time. Internal power kicks in, and the vehicle's computers take full control of the countdown. As the clock ticks down to zero, all 33 Raptor engines on the Super Heavy booster ignite, building over 16 million pounds of thrust. For the first few seconds, Starship remains secure to the launch mount as the engines stabilize. Then, if all parameters look good, the hold down clamps release, and humanity's largest rocket begins its climb towards space. The next two and a half minutes are critical as Super Heavy burns through its propellant, accelerating Starship to nearly 2,500 miles per hour and altitude of approximately 40 miles. Stage separation occurs and Ship 34 immediately ignites its own Raptor engines to continue the journey to orbit, while Booster 15 begins its complex return flight. The booster's return involves a boost back burn that reverses its horizontal velocity, followed by an entry burn that slows its descent. Finally, there's a landing burn and the unprecedented catch attempt by the launch tower's mechanical arms, all taking place approximately six minutes after liftoff. Meanwhile, Ship 34 continues to accelerate, reaching orbital velocity about 8.5 minutes after launch. Once in orbit, the crew will conduct the Raptor engine shutdown and restart test, followed by the deployment of the four Starlink simulator satellites. After approximately 90 minutes in orbit, Ship 34 will perform a deorbit burn, re-entering Earth's atmosphere before executing a controlled splashdown in the Indian Ocean. Maria Rodriguez, a propulsion specialist, notes, every second of this flight provides invaluable data. Even if not every objective is met, the telemetry gather will be used to drive the next iteration of improvements. Throughout the preparations, Elon Musk has been active on social media. On February 4th, he posted on X, formerly Twitter, the way Starship flies, accompanied by a launch simulation. When last-minute issues forced rescheduling to March 3rd, Musk remained optimistic. Minor setbacks from major comebacks. For Musk, Starship represents a culmination of a 20-year obsession with making humanity multiplanetary. According to his timeline, the first uncrewed Starships could reach Mars during the 2028 launch window, with crewed missions potentially following by 2028. His ultimate vision is a self-sustaining city of one million people on Mars within two decades, 
entirely dependent on Starship proving itself as a reliable spacecraft. While today's Starship launch is making headlines, it represents just one facet of an unprecedented renaissance in space exploration. Recently, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket launched Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost Lander, which is currently in lunar orbit. Preparing for a landing on February 18th, the spacecraft captured remarkable images of the lunar far side, the hemisphere perpetually hidden from Earth. But perhaps more groundbreaking was its detection of Earth's GPS signals from lunar orbit, a technological feat that could revolutionize deep space navigation. This is a game changer, explains Dr. Samantha Williams, a navigation specialist. GPS was never designed to work beyond Earth orbit. The fact that Blue Ghost could detect these signals at lunar distances opens up entirely new possibilities for autonomous spacecraft navigation. While companies like SpaceX continue pushing boundaries, Boeing is facing a significant crisis which troubled Starliner spacecraft. NASA astronaut Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore launched to the International Space Station aboard Starliner in June 2024, intending to return after one week. However, after docking, engineers discovered serious technical issues, including thruster failures and helium leaks. NASA made the unprecedented decision to deem Starliner unsafe for human return, effectively stranding Williams and Wilmore on the ISS for over eight months. Plans for their return now involve SpaceX's Crew Dragon vehicle. For Boeing, financial implications are severe. In 2024 alone, the company reported losses of five hundred. We await the final countdown for Starship Flight 8. It's worth considering the broader implications of today's mission. This isn't merely about SpaceX's commercial ambitions. It represents a pivotal moment in humanity's relationship with space. For 50 years, access to space has remained remarkably similar to the Apollo era, expensive, limited, and primarily governmental. Starship aims to completely rewrite that paradigm with its massive payload capacity and target launch costs potentially orders of magnitude lower than current options.